Aaron Rice with Jodar Farms. Um, we're uh, all natural, free range chicken, pork, and, and eggs. We're right now servicing the Longmont Farmers Market, Boulder Farmers Market on Wednesdays, and then also the uh, the Fort Collins downtown market. We've got a um, a CSA that we operate. That's about a 75 member CSA. My name is Pat Burry. I'm with High Altitude Organics. We're on 12 and a half acres. In, uh, in between Hudson and Keensburg, Colorado on the Eastern Plains. We have about somewhere between 160 and 200 laying hens. I have about 200 meat birds, 20 pigs, 11 ducks. I think diversification is the key to what we do. The markets that we serve are primarily direct to consumer with a little bit of wholesale. Um, primarily selectively. I've picked certain markets that I'd like to be in and I pick one market in that area. I think what is becoming bigger maybe even than the organic movement is locally sourced food. And I think that's becoming the bigger issue. Um, anyone can come out here and say, I want that chicken or I want that turkey. As a young farmer and somebody beginning, you know, you need farmer's markets to, to go, you know, introduce your product to your customers. Um, it's nice to, to be able to diversify into wholesale markets and things like that. Um, we have the ability to be able to maintain a, um, a strong following um, because we've been at the farmers markets for three years and so people know who we are and what we're all about. Uh, we, we invite people out to the farm, come see what we do. And, you know, that's really the mainstay of what we do is we just make sure that everybody is happy from, from the animals that are grown here to the people that take them home and put them on their table. We have a walk-in freezer here that we store all of our product in. Um, it's an outdoor walk-in. Um, it was sort of a a random pickup that we found. Um, I think my dad got it off Craigslist. and um, It's temporary for now until we can get something a little more permanent built. Uh, but it's, uh, it's the only way to store what we have, the amounts that we have. If we tried to work out of chest freezers or uprights, um, there's no way. Well, we could talk all day about processing issues. Um, you know, the in the state of Colorado, to technically sell a chicken um, or any meat product, it has to be processed in a USDA facility. And so having that USDA stamp becomes almost essential. Um, the, the problem though is there's very few um, small-scale processing facilities for poultry. Um, we happened to um, come into being able to operate one when we got started. Um, had we not had that, um, honestly, I don't think this would have worked. I don't think we'd be standing here talking today.